My mother returned after leaving 13 years ago to be with her boyfriend, seeking to reconnect. In response, I chose to leave. For the past 13 years, my siblings and I have navigated life without our mother, as she chose to be with her boyfriend. Our older sister stepped up, becoming a maternal figure who cared for us. While our journey was tough, over time, things improved. However, my younger twin siblings always carried the longing for our mother's presence, frequently expressing the desire to see her. Our consistent response was that she didn't want us in her life, urging them to move on. It seemed, for a while, that they had managed to forget about her. Recently, a surprising knock on the door introduced a significant upheaval. Our mother, accompanied by her now husband, stood before me. My shock was met with her announcement of wanting to talk with everyone. I stood my ground, telling them to leave. This triggered her husband's anger, insisting on respect. Despite my objections, they brushed past me and entered our home, as time passed, my older sister and younger siblings returned home. Their elation at seeing our mother again was palpable, they hugged her tightly, confessing how much they'd missed and loved her. My sister struggled against the unfolding situation, but her efforts to get them to leave proved futile. The atmosphere tensed, leading to arguments. Our mother expressed her desire for reconciliation, to reunite our fractured family. My sister's anger flared, highlighting the injustice of her return after abandoning us for so long. A fresh dispute broke out, drawing our younger siblings into the fray. They deemed us unfair, imploring us to forgive our mother since she had returned. My sister eventually gave up, urging them to make their own choice. Our mother, inquiring about our preferences, was met with varied responses. My younger siblings expressed their wish to reconnect with her, their longing overpowering past hurts. When she turned to me, I conveyed my condition, her return would drive me away. Another round of arguments ensued. Seeking solace, I retreated to my room, gathering essentials. Returning downstairs, my sister tried to persuade me to stay, but I left nonetheless, finding refuge with a friend. The barrage of calls and messages from my sister and younger siblings urged my return, but I remained silent. Amidst this turmoil, I grappled with feelings of guilt for leaving and knowing I should respect my siblings' choices. While they may welcome our mother back into their lives, I'm resolved to keep my distance. This situation has reinforced my conviction to prioritize my well-being and emotions. Their desire for reunion is theirs to explore, but for now, I choose to step back.